Hello guys, this is Eleftheria from Eleftheria Business PR. I hope you well. I hope you have a great year so far. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you a small tutorial on how to edit your uh, videos on Camtasia 2020. And then, I mean, the latest version. You know, when you buy Camtasia, you make sure you buy the maintenance so you will be able to get the most up updated version for free now thank you very much first of all for your likes for your comments and thank you for subscribing to my channel and don't forget uh, to like this video and uh, comment below and let me know if you need any uh, you have any special requests uh, what i have here i have a video that i already uh, upload and i create and um, I will show you a couple of tips on, you know, how to edit and what to look for when you do any tutorial videos or, uh, you know, a small free courses or any video that you want to send to your subscribers. And um, first of all, I will uh, say to you that if you want to make this one, I mean, the little square, put your face on. Remember, when you start, you can actually have your uh, camera on your camera off so you can choose what you want what you can do without um, creating any problem to the video make sure you double click it you see and then start make it a big bigger and put it somewhere like here because if you don't do that then the video is going to go like faster, it might create some problems. So make sure you double click it with your uh, mouse, double left click. So, and then do that. You can actually move it around in the middle, whatever you want in the right on the left. So, and uh, that's the first thing you need to remember. Otherwise, it's going to create a lot of problems. Then, the other thing is you have so many options from Camtasia that, you know, you don't know what to choose. Uh, make it as simple as possible. And remember that you can either uh, download some music that you want to use to your media file here. Sorry. as here that we have. And then you can actually, you know, edit and delete whatever you want to do. So, first of all, let's have a look here. So, when you are trying to use a particular animation, like here, for example, for the start, you can use from here animation, as you can see here, and then you can choose any for introduction or whatever you want um, to add into your uh, video. You don't have to make a like. Make it simple. You know, the most successful videos are really the ones who are simple. So what you can do is if you want to add it to your favorite here, you can just click on the star and then you go here and you see it. So that's another thing you need to remember. So you have all your favorite uh, options here. Then there is Camtasia, like behavior, like if you want to write names, and uh, or your logo and then you know to play it and as you can see here and uh, add a little music on and this is also transition again when you open and you have a little extra you know things to play with so here is the library again for motion background music here you can choose any music you want and you can drag it and put it over here uh, on the third, remember here we have track one, track two is the camera always, and then track three is the introduction or um, anything you want to put on the video. So it's just like really simple. Remember that Camtasia has free also templates that you can find here, but there is extra templates on the website that you can find and you can use, and it is always good for you to choose different, uh, you know, to have a little play around, but you can also pay um, extra like uh, $199 if you want to get like music, to get like uh, extra, you know, um, effects that you want to use. 
especially for your, uh, not only for your YouTube, for free tutorials for your clients and for including, you can do a video for Instagram. So this is all the background. So I use this stationery a lot. So I can give you an example of what I do. I take it, drag it to track three. You can see that here. So you see here is giving us, um, I'm going to move this a bit so you can see it here. So we're going here on the right. We delete that. You probably have seen that on my video. And I can put my logo here, the name of my website, the area business straight away in there. And then you can see it. It's Eleferia from Eleferia Business. You see it? So you have it here. So um, on track three. So it's simple as that. You can choose any other ones. And... You can actually add it. You can actually do right click, as you can see. You can add it to uh, media time play here uh, uh, in the end. You can do it also in the end here. And uh, this is one example. I use this. You can actually change it. I mean, I can change it as well. There's different ones. This is for introductions, and this is also icons that you can have. Uh, you have, um, you know. You can actually add like um, little, uh, you know, ring bells uh, from in here, guys. You have more uh, downloads from uh, from Camtasia. What I suggest, first of all, try whatever you do is try to be quiet when you do the video, and um, even if it is a tutorial, but it's also uh, you can find um, here. But you know, you can remove notices, but it doesn't really. We don't use it a lot because usually when we are all of us videoing, you know, recording something, it's usually quiet. But what I suggest is if you want to delete something, what you can do and you have mistakes, the best thing to do is to go here and find this plus and minus. You see, if I press the plus, it's going to open. You see, and you have, and the video, and this, and my, the camera in bigger, so you can see. The reason you do that is because you will be able to find your mistakes to edit it easier. And you wouldn't have any problems, uh, you know, like, uh, you no know, find the exact uh, second, or, so you always need to do uh, plus or minus and you can see it's open up also the stationary introduction icon that I have and then you can take it back and then you can see you know the small how small it is so this is one example you can also uh, as I say record um, you know your uh, uh, only uh, recording without the video, remember, for uh, other purposes. Here do you have, where do you want to download it? I do to my locker file, and then I save it to USB, whatever I do. It's better if you have it saved in USB, not get lost. Um, screencast, you don't need that because you do your reviews, I mean, you do your editing and everything. Um, if you are connected with v Vimeo, you can direct it, you know, directly uh, download it to v v Vimeo or YouTube. Um, I do that separate. I don't have connect this, but you can actually do it. And also here you can ask, you know, to do some view tools, uh, edit different canvas if you want. The timeline, timeline is here below. So I'm just, you know, giving you an extra, you know, what you can use. The thing is you can add animations to what you have here, but you also, as I said, you can um, uh, find extra on the website. Um, usually, you know, it's, it's pretty simple or when you open it, you can go for a new video or even use another old one. 
and you, if you want to read a report and you want to place a report here, you have everything here on the file. And the other thing, when you finish, just go up here and you do here the local files. So this one is also if you want to download extra uh, music or extra, you know, the things that you like for your podcast and then download it. You can put it on your favorite also if you want so you wouldn't, uh, you know, get uh, lost. And uh, then I can, I can give you the example that you have the Camtasia production reporter. You go next. This is how I leave it like that, smart player. Leave it like that. Leave it like that. You can give your name, like test. Then you click finished. And then it's going to, you know, do the um, uploads a video into your files. And then you can have it uh, there. And uh, straight away, then you can save it to your USB and, um, uh, you know, have it ready. It's just as simple as it is. It's not really too much difficult but you know as soon as you know you have to spend some time if you want to add some music what music do you want to add so you have the same in terms of uh, branding it's going to be good and then you know you can play around and you can also have the video i mean for youtube without your camera on if you want to so it's simple as that it doesn't really have to be uh make it like you make sure you're adding value rather than, you know, uh, stressing about it. And enjoy it. It's fun, to be honest with you. I like them. They're simple and they're always very helpful. So that is for me today. Thank you very much, uh, guys. I hope you have a good year so far. And uh, please subscribe to my channel for more. And make sure you don't miss a thing. And uh, have a lovely day.